I know that you are uh, you're you're ride or die for Donald Trump at this point, right? Like you, you just uh, <laughs> I, I I wanted to see if you were paying attention. No, um, <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Uh, there, there is a uh, ride or die. Yes, uh, that uh, the first. Oh, I don't know. Real thing. Now, it, it, the Donald the Donald Trump uh, story is is so uh, fascinating for for a couple of different reasons. And the first of which is that you have this guy from New York who had a reality show who rubs elbows with the Hollywood elites, who's on the coasts more than he's anywhere else. Right, is being touted as the only real guy in the race by all these folks in Iowa that hate people from the coasts because they're so phony or they they don't they're not like us. I think that uh, Mike Huckabee wrote a book about that, yeah, <laughs> about absolutely. about yeah. God's guns, God guns gravy and grits or something. I think is what it's called, uh, and. So Donald Trump is securely in the the coastal world, and yet he's seen as the most real candidate. Well, the first real thing, and we'll talk about what I might think about this here in a second. The most, the first real thing that he's done so far, other than tout his wealth and uh, um, uh, slam other Republicans, is put forward this immigration plan that has got everyone in a tiz. And uh, the, some of the specifics of it are: he wants to build a wall between Mexico and the U.S. to make Mexico pay for it. He wants to deport eleven, uh, deport every illegal uh, immigrant or undocumented worker in this country. Um, that estimates are about 11 million people. Um, he wants to uh, um, uh, end the, the, third, the third big thing, the thing that's catching most uh, eyeballs, end birthright citizenship, which is guaranteed by the 14th Amendment of the Constitution. There's more that I'm forgetting that you might remember, but you... Those are the three key ones, yeah. Yeah, you had a little... You you have a special connection to the immigration <laughs> issue. Shut up. <laughs> and Shut so up. I want... No, so I wanted you... We're not going to talk about it. I just want you... I want your perspective on this. What do you think about this idea? Jeff Sessions, by the way, wrote the thing. That's... R- wrote, wrote his... Yes. Hmm. His, his people wrote this for Donald Trump. That, well, keep that in mind. Well, one, I, wa- I do want to hear what your opinion is. I'm fairly certain I know. This, one of the points I'm going to make right off the bat is <laughs> Donald Trump released his immigration plan. I haven't checked my Betroche for Congress website in a while. <laughs> I'm telling you, the left is unforgiving and still just as mean and as vicious as ever. But I did have an opportunity to post our, our show about that. <laughs> out there on the site anyway um first of all talking about the wall that's actually what got me in trouble in the first place because my point was if we're going to do something dumb like building a wall across a tunnel system why don't we just go ahead and microchip them that's really what got me in trouble i'm paraphrasing it's all on other shows i'm not going over it again i don't think building a wall is going to be the way to do it um you know who you know who builds walls the Chinese and the Russians, and we're not them. We're not them. What we need to have is, is immigration reform. We need to undo a lot of the damage the Republicans did because, yes, this whole thing is, is – um, this latest go-around is a Republican problem because we are the ones that created it, Reagan and Charles Grassley and several other Republicans. So we need to have immigration reform so it's much more sensible. Number two, building a wall – over a tunnel system isn't going to work. Uh, whenever I go out to Hawaii and I start talking politics to people, it's either number one, Obamacare, because for a long time it was immigration, but lately it's been Obamacare. Number two, it's an immigration. Their number one concern out there is all the illegal immigrants taking their jobs. So great. You know, it's like, uh, you know, the horse is already out of the barn. What are, what are you going to do now? Well, you're going to have to, because there's a lot of people here that want to make their lives here, all right? And I don't have a problem with that. I just think there needs to be a penalty along with it. So I don't think that's, I don't think that's going to work. And three, how are you going to make them pay for a wall? Those are the three problems right off the top of my head. Mm-hmm. So 
why don't we why don't we focus on that? What do you? I'm sure you you have something similar to say. Well, it. I mean, the whole thing is. You just, want me to finish your boom beat for you? you no, know, no, I've got. I'm good. Are you sure? I'm good. Yeah. Right. No, because I knew that I knew what you were going to say. And I, I do boom beach in the commercials. I, well, you know, some of us are more engaged in the show than others. I guess. <laughs> um, no, well, the, I mean, the, the the main part of this is is that it's just it's absolutely it's absolutely silly. It's absolutely silly. This this business of of. Uh, I'm the president of the United States. I'm the president of the United States, and magically, I can uh, um, dictate terms to a foreign sovereign country to the extent that, hey, we want this thing built, and you're going to pay for it somehow. This isn't a this isn't a land acquisition. This isn't a this isn't a grease in the skids to develop some uh, Manhattan skyline. This is international politics. Number one, so that's that's ridiculous. Two, the business of deporting folks. I mean, you 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 touched on it. Um, wh- are we going to increase our taxes to deport people? Uh, oh, it, it it it's go. How, first of all, how are you going to how are you going to do it? You're going to round people up. Is that what we? Is that what it's come to in in the United States? We start rounding people up and shipping them well, out. We've done places? it before, <laughs> right? But are we proud of that history? <laughs> I mean, is that? <laughs> I'm just is saying. Is that a good? Uh, uh, no, I'm not particularly before, proud of it. But, and, you know. and we didn't like it when we did it. No. And in fact, and we're kind true. of ashamed of it. And three, so the immigration, the illegal immigration problem, apparently, is so bad in this country, even though net immigration has been next to nothing for the last several years. We're not, there aren't lots and lots of new people coming in. That's a myth. Well, how do you know? I mean, they're illegal. How do you know? I mean, that's part of the problem is we don't have a good way of keeping track. Well, that, I mean, and that's a, that's a fair point. The people that study this, that's what they've been saying for the last several years. Um, You're going to amend the constitution. That's what you have to do. Birthright citizenship is guaranteed by the 14th Amendment. That's it. That, I mean, and, and, and uh, uh, full stop. It, it just, this idea, and this idea that, uh, and the reason he wants to do it is because this this sort of like quasi-offensive anchor baby thing. But anyway, well, what, what, it's, a, it's a ridiculous notion that the CBO says it'll cost $300 billion and ju- uh, dump us into a recession and take 40 years to complete. Well, so, you know, I guess, than I guess change you can it's believe better it, right? than Obamacare. Jane, Cheaper than that. Well, you know. Well, it's, but but let me ask you this question, all serious, since we only get, we mm-hmm. got about fifteen seconds left. What about making? You were talking about how we're going to pay for it. Well, you know, Obama's a big fan of executive order. Would that something like that work? You know, just increase the tariffs by executive fiat? No, you can't do that because tariffs are set by legislation. All right, all right. We're going to come back. We're going to talk more a little bit more about um, uh, immigration and the Trump effect. Um, because he has, he's brought it up. People are talking about it. People are going like, well, hold on. Some of this and is good. Change, some of this bad. And, say, and agreeing with him. And, and agreeing with him. We'll get to him. that in a second. Yes. And we'll be back right after this break. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in.